dear friends good morning in the last class we have learned about the full converter simulation and how one can switch on the six switches thyristors uh, with the firing angle of uh, uh, with respect to the crossover point of 30 degree and also we have learned that if the firing angle is greater than 60 degree that is uh, discontinuous conduction will take place so where if it is having only resistive load we can have that output voltage you can see that zero then uh, if suppose if we are having that inductive load there is a negative swing in the output voltage till that there is a load current so based on the inductance value one can try with this continuous conduction and discontinuous conduction everything as we have already learned in this simulation so in this uh, today's lecture we are going to learn about that simulation of a three phase semi converter how one can do with the semi converter as you as we have already learned about a three phase full converter it is very much quite easy with uh, that semi converter so let me share my white screen so that you can easily understand So last class we have learned this uh, each thyristor thyristor T1 will fire at an angle of 30 plus uh, uh, 30 plus alpha and uh, T2 30 plus 60 plus alpha T3 30 plus 120 plus alpha 190 plus alpha 30 plus 240 plus alpha T6 is the 330 plus alpha otherwise minus 30 plus alpha we have already learned everything very clearly why we are uh, switching this case so now we, uh, we have initially that full converter we have uh, six thyristors like this uh, th six thyristors like this. And load we will connect here. Three phase input voltage we will give here. Three phase R, Y, B. I told you to name accordingly that T1, T3, T5, and uh, T6, T4 and t2 now uh, we are the, all our thyristors all our thyristors so we have to switch on this base based on the crossover point now i am replacing this all uh, lower arm thyristors by diode then we can call it a semi converter so in this case this is one diode oh, this is one diode and this is one diode so now i can uh, write this maybe like the same similarity t d to 4 d6 and d2 so accordingly we can already we have drawn this vector diagram for three phase circuit now i am going to replace instead of uh, t2 i have to t2 and T4, T6, I have to choose D1, sorry, D2, D5, sorry, D2, uh, D4, uh, and D5. So even though so accordingly we have to write this uh, uh, thyristor combination also it will change instead of uh, t2 we have d2 instead of uh, even numbers all are diode even numbers all are diode so we can write t1 t1 uh, d2 then d2 t3 then uh, t4 uh, t1 d2 d2 t3 the d2 t3 uh, then here we will have 
upper uh, here we will have uh, t3 t4 then you can have here uh, d4 d5 d4 t5 then here t5 uh, then this is nothing but again i confused with this so just uh, let me take this as t6 so t5 d6 so then again d6 t1 like that this is the sequence so now uh, even though diode uh, thyristor uh, di diode d d2 is can be turned on here for here but even the anode current below the holding current due to the crossover point below the crossover point beyond this crossover point that um, out anode current of the diode also below the holding current so diode will not be turned on below the uh, below the forward breakover voltage so that what happened it is diode will not conduct so that only crossover point only diode d2 will conduct accordingly this t1 uh, this t t1 and t3 then t5 firing pulses are same t1 t5 t1 is standing on the particular same time t3 is standing on this particular time time same time and t5 is standing on this particular same time so for single phase semiconductor we can write t1 will turn on at 30 plus alpha then t3 will turn on as 30 plus 120 plus alpha then T5 will turn on as 30 plus 240 plus alpha. Now the remaining is D2, D4 and D6. So with, with here we no need to give any firing pulse. This is uncontrolled switch and unidirectional uncontrolled switch so that it will turn on automatically. So let me show the simulation accordingly. So in this case, the firing pulses of three switches, T1, T3, T5 are same. So I can uh, note down this, uh, this diode as uh, diode D4, then this diode as diode D6, then this diode as diode D2. Now the firing pulses accordingly that uh, 120, 30 plus uh, this is firing pulse. Let me take this is a zero degree firing angle. Then again here also you can take 30 plus zero degree. That then again 240 plus 30. So that means each phase uh, here in this uh, circuit in this vector diagram you can see T1 it will turn on at 30 degree. This angle is now uh, you can have the crossover point degree is 30 degree. T1 will turn on at 30 degree. Then again, the T3 will turn on 19. This is uh, this is already 30, so this is 120. So 120 plus 30 degree. Then T5 it will be from here uh, T5 240 plus 30 degree. So uh, like that we can switch. We have to switch on this firing uh, thyristors. So now uh, let me uh, run the simulation for uh, four cycles. So switching frequency, everything I have already, the frequency of supply is for 350 uh, hertz and all are 120 degree displacement, everything uh, <coughs> I have done already. Uh, the same as the previous uh, simulation, what I have shown in this power electronics, uh, previous three phase semiconductor simulation. Now, <coughs> see here, the same waveform is same as this uh, three phase full converter at alpha equal to zero degree. Reason is all the thyristors will turn on as like diode turn on every zero cross, every crossover point. So accordingly, we have the output voltage same. Here also, if you if you zoom, zoom this uh, waveform from uh, 0.22.04 that means one cycle we can have 1 2 3 4 5 
then this is half and here half so total six pulses then now uh, for for previous case three phase uh, full converter <coughs> Uh, three, phase, three phase full converter see here for firing angle 30 degree what happened that uh, pulses you can see the switching due to the switching of the thyristor uh, this is this cut will be there this cut will be there let me check with the three phase uh, full uh, semi converter in the semi converter now i am giving this firing pulse to 30 degree Then here also 30 degree. Now, if you run the simulation, you can see one difference. Um, phase sequence, I have to choose here uh, 120. Uh, minus 120. One for small correction 30 plus 30 degree plus 0.02 divided by 60. Then here 120 plus 30 degree additional 30 I have added. So 120 plus yeah, correct 30 degree. Mm. Then in this case, uh, 240 plus 30 plus 30 degree in the 0.02. Then here 125 minus 125 only. Let me check with uh, three phase uh, full converter uh, minus 120 degree. Then we have um, the three phase uh, plus 120 degree. Uh, so now if we do the switches, so now see here this. This waveform is uh, here as you can see. Uh, for example, let me take this one cycle of 0.04. See here, uh, thyristor T1 will turn on at an angle of 30 degree, thyristor T1. Then after that, that particular negative cycle diode D2, the negative after 60 degree, you can see this waveform. T1 will turn on. After that, this diode D2 will be forward biased. So that is why diode is uncontrollable device. That is why we are having this, uh, this type of waveforms here. Then again, cut for next thyristor T3. Then again, uh, diode conduction after 60 degree diode conduction so like that every that with respect to the diode is switching on every 60 degree your waveform is like this your waveform is like this but in the previous case in this three phase full converter three phase uh, semi full converter you can see all are in the same uh, the, the pulses are wave shape is same but in this case Due to the effect of diode, you can have this uh, this type of waveforms. But however, this if you take this point or two, one, two, three, four, five, six, and half. So uh, you have uh, half, and this is also half. So two, three, four, five, six pulses will be there. So if we use this the same thing for firing, and if we make it this inductive load also. Uh, for uh, let me check with this uh, in, uh, for firing angle of uh, one instead of 60 the firing angle i can choose that uh, 60 uh, 80 degree let me check with this firing angle 80 degree waveform So if the firing angle is 80 degree, you can have again uh, this continuous discontinuity will come, discontinuity will come. So but if you connect one inductive load here, RL load of 110, but you can see that there is no negative sync in the output voltage. So you can see that there is no negative sync. The reason is the respective uh, diode will 
as like our full converter with the free wheeling diode that uh, respective diode will free wheel through that load so that output voltage will be zero the corresponding uh, diode will be forward bias and it will be remains in the conducting state so that is why we have the continuous current waveform till uh, the stored energy of the inductor will dissipate so energy is released so we have a uh, the resistor uh, uh, the load current is like this so this is the wave of this is the input to output voltage and this is the output current waveform of this three phase semiconductor so i hope uh, we can it is also after if alpha is greater than 90 degree so uh, greater than 60 degree discontinuous conduction will take place but if we have this uh, inductive uh, inductive load in the circuit automatically inductive load will Uh, free wheel inductive load will free wheel through the diode uh, free free wheel through the load so that uh, you can have uh, that output voltage is zero but you have the current continuous current uh, till the stored energy in the inductor is dissipated so i hope uh, it will be helpful to you for doing the simulation one can try with the different uh, uh, waveforms and different load and resistive load and you can analyze uh, in respective way uh, as per your convenience Uh, so wish you all the best thank you